there are significant reinfections after vaccine. In fact, I don't think we have a hospitalization in the United States after the two-week period after the second vaccination. We yeah, don't you have a death in the United States. You you're not hearing what I'm saying about variants. We're talking about wild type versus variants. And what, now, proof is there, what proof is there that there are significant reinfections with hospitalizations and death from the variants? None in our country. Zero. Well, because we don't have a prevalent of a variant yet. We're having one. Can I finish? We're well, having one one seven that's becoming you're more dominant. Your policy based on conjecture. No, you it, have the it isn't based that we're on conjecture. Variants, so you some you want people to wear a mask for another couple of years. No, you've been vaccinated and you parade around in two masks for show. No, you can't get it again. There's almost there's virtually zero percent chance you're going to get it, and yet you're telling people with them that have had the vaccine who have immunity. You're defying everything we know about immunity by telling people to wear a mask who've been vaccinated. No. Instead, you should be saying there is no science to say we're going to have a problem from the large number of people being vaccinated. You want to get rid of vaccine hesitancy? Tell them they can quit wearing their mask after they get the vaccine. Okay. You want people to get the vaccine? <laughs> Give them a reward instead of telling them that the nanny state's going to be there for three more years and you've got to wear a mask forever. People don't want to hear it. There's no science behind it. Well, let me just state for the record that masks are not theater. Masks are protective. And we have immunity there, theater. If you already have immunity, you're wearing a mask to give comfort to others. Senator you're Paul, not you're wearing a mask because of any sign.